Well, what we want to talk about really and, and, and kickstart today is really the, the, the two factions that are at war within your financial life. And these are the aspects that are either eroding your wealth strategy or they're building your wealth strategy. And those are the things that we really want to pin down on in a first conversation and really then explore from there on to make sure that you're not being eaten up by those free radicals. Okay, well, let's do bad news first. I like that, by the way, free yes. radicals. Free radicals are bad, antioxidants are good, so yes. free radicals first, one. Well, the free radicals, we're talking there about, you know, 30% of people who actually have a last will and testament actually sign the last will and testament. Now, if the will isn't signed, then it is not a valid document. Sure. Um, other things like, for example, you know, not having a proper medical aid or a hospital plan. It's uh, equated to not having car insurance and driving on, a, on, an, on, on the road without having appropriate insurance. So you want to make sure that those basics are in place because if they're not and you die without a will, you die in test state, which means that the state takes over the process of handing out your money and good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, well, no thanks. <laughs> what, about, what about those factors and factions that build wealth, the antioxidants of finance? I think the very basic, Mike, is building a healthy habit of saving. Yeah, I'm so glad you if said If you that. can build, because we're all creatures of habit, and it takes typically 21 days plus to create that healthy wa wa a wabbit. Wabbit, uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> <is> a fantastic <laughs> habit, yes, yeah. Yeah. So to create a healthy saving habit, whether it's for emergency short-term needs, a medium need like for traveling or buying that first house, or then the long-term retirement need, you have to make sure that there's a healthy habit of saving every penny, because that's what fills the bucket. Have you ever heard of the Babylonian principle? 70% of your wealth you use to live on, 10% you invest, 10% yes. you save, 10% you give away. Would you buy into something like that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Because I think once you open your hands to give, yeah. you also open them to receive. Yeah. Um, so the giving principle is, is, is really entrenched or should be entrenched yeah. in your philosophy. And it's part of making sure that you have enough, enough antioxidants to fight those free radicals that are trying to erode your wealth. We're on a great start to boot camp. We definitely Thank sing you. on the same song sheet, which is excellent. We're going to traffic next. And of course, next Friday, Warren is going to be here with more basic principles of financial management. Kia, what is happening on the highways and byways in South Africa?